Welcome to the Dungeon of Bad Decisions. This is the sixth installment of Any Attempts to Explain Things. I'm your host, Anna, and today's topic is why I love tabletop games. This topic was recommended to me by my brother. Uh, and while, when he suggested it, it was clear that he didn't quite get the concept of how these uh, videos are supposed to work. I still took him up on it anyways, because, you know what? Fuck it. Tabletop games are awesome. Uh, here's the thing. I didn't really uh, start playing tabletops until college when I started with Pathfinder, which will always be my first love. From there, I've expanded into Dungeons & Dragons 3.5, 4th edition, which we shall never speak of, 5th uh, edition, which is great, uh, Call of Cthulhu, Numenera, Fiasco, and I did it. And I did attempt to dabble in Shadowrun, but the character creation may put me on the verge of tears. I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I was about to cry. Uh, I play tabletop games mostly for the escapism. I'm not here to play a human in a sword, though I've done that. Um, because I can be a human with a sword in real life. Hell, I am a human with a sword in real life. See, third dollar short sword. I got it at the run fair. It's actually pretty sharp though. What I'm here to do is I'm here to play a bizarre looking asshole with magical abilities and a tragic backstory, or super cool knife tricks, or an amazing facility with instruments and people, all things I am not in real life. To tell you the truth, I wouldn't really want to be any of these things in real life, except maybe with the knife tricks, that'd be cool, but I really don't have the dedication for that. Um, but it is, it's fun to pretend. And it is even more fun to pretend with friends who are also playing bizarre looking assholes with tragic backstories and abilities that people on fire with a word or knives or whatever. Yes, most of the systems uh, and additions I named are difficult to learn for the first time, which is why I'd recommend anybody looking to learn to play any of these games start with D&D 5th edition because it was designed to be easy to learn and play. But that doesn't mean that the ridiculous number of rule interactions and loopholes you can get with any of the others isn't also fun as hell. Look, I'm not here to tell you uh, what to do or what to play for, or who to play with. I'm just here to tell you that I want to yell at a monster until it dies. Your piercing scream is great, but I haven't been able to find my clip under five feet. Uh, or stab it to death while the rest of my friends set things on fire and freak out the townspeople. That's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, check out my Tumblr, where I post quotes, anecdotes, uh, photos, and occasionally recordings of the tabletop games I play in at thedungeonofaddecisions.tumblr.com. There's a link in the description below. Also, if you've got any topics you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments or via one of the many messaging systems uh, on Tumblr. If you really enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Roll 20s, y'all!